In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an automation. So if we come back over to ConvertKit and click on automations, you'll be able to see any automations that you've currently got and create a new automation. And one of the things that I like about uh, ConvertKit is that it makes it all visual. So it makes it, for me anyway, it makes it easier to see what we're doing here. And to start with, just click on new automation and click create automation. And you're going to start with, well, there's different ways you can do it. But um, this automation that I'm setting up is going to start, it's going to kick in once someone joins a form. So if you haven't created a form, then you'd want to go and do that. Um, you could also do it just when someone is added to a tag. So if you wanted to send out a series of emails to someone after you've uploaded them into your account, then you could do that as well. Or you could do other things with custom fields or if you've assigned a purchase to someone. So there's a few different things you can do, but joining a form is, is normally one of the first ways that people are going to be added into your ConvertKit account. So that's what I'm going to use for this example. So you need to have first create a form, and then once you've done that, you can choose it from the drop-down menu here. And this Mills form, I forgot to rename it, but that's the name of the form that I created in another example. And what I'm going to do is click Add Event. So when someone is added through that form, I want a couple of things to happen. I want to assign a tag to them. So let me show you how to do that. We can say um, add or remove a tag, and we can select here from a drop-down menu the tag that we want to assign. So um, if I scroll down and I can find that demo tag, there it is there and click Add Action. And then I want to do something else as well, simultaneously. And what I want to do there is uh, add them to an email sequence. Now, you can do other things as well, okay? Um, but I'm just trying to keep this simple to, to help you hit the ground running. So a couple of the most simple things that you'll need to do are adding a tag or adding the subscriber to an email sequence. So if I click e um, Sequence there. Now, obviously, you need to have made a sequence um, in order to be able to do this. So, we've got the demo sequence that we've made, and I'll click Add Action. And now, the third and, and final thing that you need to do, and this is really, really important, um, is to actually turn it on. So, before I do that, I'll just rename this Demo Automation. Um, and if you don't turn this on, then it will never work. Okay, it's just it's in paused at the moment. So I click that and select turn it on. Now it says that it's live. Okay, so um, that's how you set up an automation. And as you can see, it's quite important because a couple of things are going to happen. It's going to assign a tag and it's going to drop drop people into a sequence as well. And we'll talk more about um, how and I'll show you more about how these work.